So behaviorist communication is a little bit slippery as a concept um, because, you know, people will say things, well, like, what is the behavior of communicating? Well, behaviors don't communicate, people do. And I think that it can end up being a way to sort of elide the fact that somebody has a perspective and everything observable might be information. It might tell us something, but not everything we observe is communication and not everything we observe is intended as communication. And I think that that framing can end up sort of aligning the fact that people have a perspective and communicate intentionally and that reciprocal interaction is possible. And another way I put this is that nothing I have ever done was, was ever intended to communicate, please follow me around with the clipboard, making a lot of like intrusive check marks, um, documenting everything I do that you think might be relevant to modifying my behavior in some way. Um, nothing I have ever done ever meant that. But to hear like what people who say behavior is communication talk, you would think that a lot of people with disabilities are asking for that constantly. And I really don't think that's true. So I think that we have to be a little cautious about that principle. 